All right, thanks, Sam. The road to recovery for those who survive COVID-19 can be a long one, especially due to the lingering health effects that persist weeks, even months later. Joining us now with insight on this is Dr. Carissa Monterosso, a pulmonologist with Hartford Healthcare Medical Group. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. So what types of health issues are you seeing among people who have recovered from the virus? So we primarily are seeing a lot of patients who unfortunately continue to have issues with their breathing even after the acute phase of their illness. Uh, it's, it's been really interesting to see, but also uh, very concerning as well. We've been seeing patients who required hospitalization, were having oxygen for a period of time that continue to have lingering issues with their breathing weeks, even months after their recovery. Uh, and we're also seeing patients who never required hospitalization at all, who recovered at home, and they continue to have lingering symptoms with sensations of breathlessness and not being able to do the things that they normally do. And we're seeing this in a variety of patients, patients who are elderly, patients who have comorbid conditions, but we're also seeing it in young people who have no health conditions whatsoever. Wow, okay, that's so eye-opening. What kind of help can people expect to receive at your COVID recovery center? So we're using a multidisciplinary approach uh, through Hartford HealthCare at our recovery center where someone will speak to a patient who is continuing to have symptoms after COVID. And a lot of patients are having a variety of symptoms, including shortness of breath. And based on the symptoms patients continue to suffer from, they'll be referred to the appropriate specialist. In our case, patients who are having issues with breathing and, and sensations of chest tightness will often be referred to our clinic. And at our, at our clinic, we're able to perform diagnostic testing, including pulmonary function testing, as well as imaging when appropriate to really uh, get to the root of why patients continue to have these issues. And, and also, I think it's really important that we provide these patients with the education and the support they need to get through this. All right. As a pulmonologist, what issues are you seeing with patients who have other health issues aside from COVID? So in our clinic, we see every type of pulmonary issue. We obviously have a lot of patients that we see on a regular basis with COPD, asthma, interstitial lung diseases, uh, lung cancer, and we do uh, lung cancer screening in our clinic. And pandemic has been difficult for everyone, obviously, but in particular, our pulmonary patients who have breathing issues at baseline, you know, there's been some reluctance and fear, obviously, of contracting the virus in this patient population and reluctance, I think, in some to go out and seek care because they're nervous about being out and contracting the virus. And we really, we really encourage patients to please, uh, you know, ask your primary care doctor for a referral if it's indicated. We want to make sure that patients are getting the care that they need, especially with something like lung cancer screening, uh, which we provide here at our clinic and high risk patients. You know, data has shown that we can reduce mortality by catching things early. And we want to make sure that patients are, are being seen for that. All right, Dr. Carissa Monterosso, thank you so much for joining us. Great information. Thank you.